this is John Gifaldi with a sweet memory tip of the week. Well, we've been making rigata pie. This is my grandma's recipe. And what she would do is she would just take some pie crust, fill it with rigata cheese, and you have a dessert. What I did is I started with a pre-bought, pre-made pie crust that I got at the grocery store. And I used this cup to cut out my circles. But with the pieces that are left, I'm just rolling it back out. And we're going to make a few more. So you don't have to waste anything. It's a lot of fun. It's real easy. My kids used to love to do this. So we would get together, we'd get all our stuff out, make a couple of circles here, pull that little shell out. I take two fingers, get the water on the edge, and I, in the middle I just like to push that down just a little bit to create a little opening, a place for that cheese to set. There you go, you put that in the middle, close it up. You get a little bit of overflow there, so let that just fall back in. You got a little half shell here, a little half moon. A little slice in there for the air to escape. We're going to egg wash it, put a little sugar on it, pop it in the oven. You got a great dessert. I cook these usually at 375 for 18 minutes. And when you're done, you've got just a great dessert. This is so much better than anything you can, you know, pop out of the freezer. So don't be afraid to try some of these recipes at home. Create some sweet memories of your own. Get your kids in the kitchen. Get your family in here. Start telling some stories. You never know. You might be writing a book of your own soon. Take care. Happy birthday.